Hey there, I'm Blueberry from the Shelter Institute. Check out this clip from our new online timber framing course. To help with the chiseling process, I'm going to hand saw as much as I can of both of these lines. Alright, you'll notice that I'm cutting very close to the line. The reason for that is that I'm using a very fine tooth saw, which gives me good accuracy. And also because the tolerances on these dovetail mortises are more forgiving than the other joinery in the building. All right, so I've just completed basically a diagonal cut from the lower end of the dovetail over here to the lower end of the dovetail over here. That's as much as I can do with a handsaw. Now that I've completed the saw cut, I can transition to chiseling. So again, where I have not sawn here, I'm going to just chisel down the outline of the mortise. And then I can start chiseling in. So you can see I gave myself a relief cut down the middle of the mortise. That's because it's tapered out like this and sometimes this waste gets wedged in there. Because the saw cut ran on a diagonal from this corner down to this corner, fairly early in the chiseling process, I have to start chiseling in here to continue that saw cut. And likewise on this side. So as you can see, to get through this mortise, I'm basically just going to repeat a few basic steps. Chiseling down the side, chiseling down the end, chiseling down the middle, and then peeling out a layer and repeating that process. So I'm about an eighth of an inch away from the line, which is when I usually transition to slicking. So I'm going to do that. So there are a lot of different surfaces inside this mortise that I could work on. I'm going to choose to work on what will be the backside of the mortise. That's the surface that I care least about damaging. So I'm going to get it flat and done first. Then I'll work the sides into that surface. So if I hit them a little bit with the slick or hit that surface a little bit with the slick and damage it, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Thank you. 
So back here, I have a layout line. I've just slicked down to that layout line that was two and an eighth inches deep. I need to check this field area. Set the combination square to two and an eighth. And out here, I can see I'm about an eighth of an inch high still. When I put the combination square in back here, I'm sitting right on my layout line, two and an eighth inches deep. But as I slide further into the mortise, the head of the combination square is lifting up, meaning that I'm not deep enough yet in the middle of the mortise. Got about an eighth of an inch gap here. So I've got to take this surface down more. Again, frequent checks is the best way to make sure you don't take out too much wood. And that is looking good all the way down. All right, now I need to work back to this surface. Seven inches is a critical depth. All of the joists will be cut to exactly seven inches here. So I wanna be careful with that edge. First, I'm going to chisel in on the sides and then I can chisel down. I'm gonna take about half of the remaining wood and then go right to the score line. And again, the score line is nice and deep, so the chisel just sort of drops into that cut in the wood. Nice, easy chisel. You want to alternate between chiseling down this way, chiseling in along this angle, and then chiseling in along this angle to remove that last little kernel in the back corner. At this point, I've done everything I can with my inch and a half chisel. But in both back corners, there's a little bit of wood that I would have to way overcut with my chisel to remove. So instead, I'm gonna to switch to my skew chisels. These guys are cut to the angle of the dovetail and they fit nicely into the back corner and allow me to remove just the amount of wood that I want to remove and no more. These are sold as a set. You need one for the left-hand side and one for the right-hand side. We sell these at Shelter Institute along with a lot of other specialty timber framing tools. So we finished cleaning out those two back corners with the skew chisels and this mortise is done. That's one way to cut a dovetail mortise by hand. Pat's gonna pop in next because of my track record and show you how to cut a dovetail mortise with power saws. Hey there, thank you for watching. Here at Shelter Institute in Woolwich, Maine, we teach a wide variety of house building and timber framing and carving classes. We'd love to see you here, but if you can't make it to Maine to take one of our classes, our online class is available at shelterinstitute.com.